it is March 27th. It is about 2 p.m. and I am currently driving back up to my dorm. I didn't wake up till probably 10.30 today and then I packed and my mom made French toast this morning so I had breakfast before I left and then I kind of just sat on TikTok for like an hour before actually leaving. But then I ended up leaving around probably one and I got Starbucks and then had to get my oil changed. One of my headlights was out, so unfortunately I had to pay for a replacement headlight, which isn't fun since I'm a college student living on a budget. I think my dad is gonna help me out paying with some of that though, which I'm very grateful for because that would have been literally all the money in my bank account with getting gas and an oil change and a headlight replaced, so that's fun. Right now I'm just heading back up to college. I'm listening to Ashley Gavin's podcast on the way up. I like to listen to podcasts in the car rather than music. I usually listen to music the first like 30 minutes of a car ride or whatever because I usually stop to get like Starbucks or different things um, and I don't want to be listening to a podcast when I'm stopping to get Starbucks. So I listen to music for a little bit and then I switch to a podcast. I will update when I get back to my dorm. I'm really excited because, um, well Haley's been there for a few days alone and so I'm gonna hang out with her for a day. I think it's just gonna be me and her, which I'm very excited about. I think we're just gonna crochet, probably have a movie night. That's my expectation for the night because we'll probably just have a chill night. That's, that's just what I'm thinking is gonna happen because that's usually what happens. Also this weekend, um, I didn't film anything because I was with my brother and his girlfriend and my parents, um, but we did end up going mini golfing and going to Olive Garden and going shopping yesterday. So that was really, really fun. Um, I got a new sweater that's like super, super cute and I'm really excited for it to get a little bit warmer so I can start wearing that. Um, I'll show you guys later what it looks like, but it's just a like a green sweater with some embroidered flowers on it and I think it's really, really cute. So I'm very excited about that. Other than that, we didn't really do too much this weekend. I did, I worked on the puzzle for a little bit. Um, we probably got about a third of that done, but unfortunately we didn't finish it before I had to go back up. But I will be coming down in a couple weekends because I have to work. So we'll probably end up working on that when I am down. But yeah, we kind of just hung out. I ended up making lemon bars. The first batch turned out like crap, but then I ended up throwing those out and making a new batch and the new batch was really good. I like slightly overcooked it because again, the first batch was a little undercooked as well. Um, so I ended up cooking it for longer, but then it ended up being slightly overcooked, but it wasn't too bad because it still ended up tasting really good, even though it was a bit stiffer, but once it sat in the fridge for a little bit with uh, the powdered sugar on it, the powdered sugar kind of soaked in and made it made it a bit softer. Um, but yeah, they tasted they tasted really good. I brought some up with me so that Haley can enjoy some. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna stop recording while driving. I'm gonna pan into the road and I'm gonna listen to my podcast. Say bye. <gasps> okay, so I got back to my dorm um, a while ago, and Haley and I went to Goodwill and went to Walmart. I forgot the name of it. And now we're crocheting um, and watching Drink Masters and hanging out. Um, she's making frogs. <gasps> and I started a new top. Good morning. It is March 28th. It's like 12.30. Um, Haley and I just now got out of bed, but it's okay. We're eating breakfast and then we're gonna go work out. I'm very excited. I haven't worked out like all week except for rock climbing and I miss going to the gym. So we're gonna go to the gym. And then I don't really have much else planned for today. I think I'm just gonna kind of chill and crochet. Haley has to go to work, so I'm gonna be alone for most of the day. So yeah. So Haley and I worked out and then came back and had lunch and she just left for work. So now I'm gonna go shower and then come back and crochet. Um, right now I'm working on a top this is what I have so far. It's like not stretched out yet, but I have like this part of the top and then this goes around the sides. 
um, and I'm making the bottom part right now and then I have to make the straps um, but I made this all like this whole part yesterday um, just within like a couple hours so I think it's gonna be pretty easy to finish up today but I also want to finish this top I'm gonna undo the bottom um, and redo it in a different pattern so that it lays more flat because right now when I put it on it kind of like curves and then like bunches up so I think I'm gonna take out the bottom and redo it so that it is more straight and doesn't like curve as bad and the other thing I'm kind of working on is just undoing this and rolling up all the colors separately anyways I'm gonna go shower and then Haley doesn't get off work till like 9 30 so I have like five hours by myself so I'm just gonna sit and crochet and probably watch YouTube um a lot of my favorite uh YouTubers release videos today so I'm really excited I've got a whole list of videos to watch so I just got done with my shower and I'm going to put on my face moisturizer and comb my hair here's the outfit for the day got a nike sports bra top and just some ripped jeans um it's kind of hot in here right now i might end up throwing on a hoodie if i get colder but this is the outfit for today for some reason i am currently obsessed with trying to find a like protein drink that i like um i've had i've tried like two or three but they were like kind of they were like decent but they weren't the greatest but i got three new ones today I got premier protein this is the chocolate one i have naked protein double berry and naked chocolate protein if you want to try these three today hopefully i like one of them because i don't know why but for some reason i'm obsessed with finding a protein shake that i enjoy even though like i've never drank protein shakes in the past but for some reason they look delicious and I really want to enjoy one. Also, I'm trying to like build muscle. Mm. And I know that like protein is key for building muscle. So I'm gonna try these and see how I like them. Okay, so I'm trying the um, Premier Protein one first. That's actually really good. It tastes like chocolate milk. There's like a hint of, I guess, protein powder, whatever it is they put in it. But that's actually, that's actually really good. I'm gonna start getting these. This is the first one that I've like genuinely enjoyed and didn't think tasted like grainy. Next I'm gonna try the Naked uh, Protein Double Berry. It's really grainy. It like leaves a really gross film on my tongue. It doesn't like taste too bad. It's just the texture. I really didn't like that. Let's try the chocolate one. This one actually isn't like grainy at all. It's not too bad. It does like I actually really like this. This is really good. These two win. This one, ultimate winner. I'm glad I finally found a protein drink that I enjoy. This is exciting. This is, I don't know why I've been so obsessed with like finding a protein drink that I enjoy, but for some reason I've been, been obsessed with it. Okay, it is now 6.30. I have been crocheting for a little bit and watching YouTube. I rolled up some balls of yarn before this, but I've only added maybe four more rows here. Um, so this is what it's looking like so far. I think it's really, really cute. And currently I'm watching a Kit Connor YouTube video. But before that, I was watching uh, Rachel Ballinger's vlogs. I had to catch up because I was like two or three days behind. And then I watched uh, uh, Allie and Holland's video that they posted today. And after this, I'm going to watch 
Colleen's vlogs. I'm also like a day or two behind on her videos. Um, but I just threw on a hoodie. This is a <laughs> Rachel, Bond Rachel Bonder merch plug. Um, I love her. I've been, I, I think I've said this before, but I think I've mentioned her in like every video. Um, fit check. It's the same, same pants. I just threw on a hoodie. Um, because I'm gonna go get dinner now. I'm gonna walk down to the dining hall and I'm going to get chicken strips. Sounds really good right now with ranch and then I put like Tabasco on the ranch to make it spicy. Um, also I'm feeling very like mask lesbian vibes today. Um, I usually, I like, okay, I don't know if I've explained this on my channel, but I identify as genderqueer omnisexual. Uh, and I usually feel more like masculine, they, he, but it like, it fluctuates and I, today's gender is mask lesbian. I don't know. I don't know. Also just like wearing Nike feels lesbian. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else. It makes sense to me. Nike equals lesbian. I knocked over the desk. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go down to the dining hall and get dinner now. Also, some days I feel more masculine with my glasses on and some days I feel more masculine with my glasses off, which is really weird. But today I feel like more masculine with my glasses off for some reason. Um, I don't know. Anyways, but I need to see, so. Gotta put them back on so I can go to the dining hall. I am back from the dining hall. I got chicken strips and french fries. And now I'm gonna eat, watch some YouTube, and then go back to crocheting. Hello. So, <clears throat> I'm currently crocheting. But I kind of wanted to just, like, talk a bit. There are a lot of days where being alone is so nice and I definitely felt that all last week when I got to be alone for a few hours while my parents were at work um, when I went home and being alone that whole week was so nice like I enjoyed every second of it I usually enjoy being alone like I kind of thrive being alone. I feel like I can just kind of be myself. I can sing and dance around the house. I can vlog. I can do kind of whatever I want. I really enjoy it. But then there's days like today where being alone is just so boring and like makes me really, really like sad. And I just kind of get in like a down mood. And earlier, like when I first was alone for like the first hour or so, I was thriving. I was making TikToks, I was having fun. I was just kind of, you know, being my normal self when I'm alone. But as the night's gone on, I've just gotten more and more bored and like sad, I guess, I don't know. And I'm desperately waiting for Haley to get back. And Haley was alone here for like four days, I think. And now I know exactly how she feels and how I, I know she, she was going crazy. Because like originally when she said that, I was like, four days alone, that sounds amazing. I wanna be alone for four days. Um, which in theory, most of the time is true. But then there are definitely moments like this. Um, where it's just, it's sad and lonely and it's not fun to be alone. It's literally just lonely. Yeah, also going to the gym makes me exhausted, especially when I haven't really worked out much in the past like two weeks. All I've done is go on rock climbing like maybe once or twice in the past two weeks. Um, and so working out today kind of like first thing, kind of like just exhausted me. And so now I've just been like really tired all day too. And once I get like used to going to the gym again, um, like I was before, 
the kind of spring break and finals week when we were going to the gym like at least two three times a week um once I get used to that again it'll be okay but I just I had a break and so now like it's just kind of exhausting me and we did machines today which we usually just do free weights uh or cardio or I just go rock climbing so the weights definitely did not help in the exhaustion but yeah I've gotten a couple more rows on here since having dinner but I haven't really been like crocheting that much I've been watching Colleen's vlog and also I just kind of went on TikTok for a while and just like sat and did nothing. I was gonna write today. I like had thought about it earlier. I was like when I'm done with whatever I was doing I was gonna go write and then I just never did. I don't really have, I don't know, I don't really have the inspiration to write right now but like I know that I need to write and I had told myself before spring break I was like I'm gonna use spring break to write a lot I'm gonna like catch up on my novel I'm gonna get all the words in because I have all this time and I just I haven't I wrote a little bit while I was home but I think I only wrote like 500 words or something like that which is not much and I know I still have like all of this week so it'll probably be fine and I'll probably write more this week but We'll see. We'll see if it actually happens or not. I've just been like lacking inspiration in everything recently. So, except for crochet. I've been loving crocheting, except for like right now because I'm just tired and kind of bored. And, but usually I'm like, all I want to do is crochet. But I've been feeling the same way like about reading because I usually like really, really, really want to read. And right now I'm just kind of like, not feeling the inspiration for it. Like all I want to do right now is sleep and maybe cry a little bit. <laughs> Classes start next Monday, I believe. And I'm actually excited for that. I love the start of a term. Okay, I love and hate the start of a term. I love it because I get to go to new classes and kind of like meet new people, but I also hate it because new classes are kind of scary. I like the routine. I like knowing where my classes are. I like knowing who's teaching my classes. Um, and I'm already familiar with my Spanish teacher because I've had him for the past two terms, but I don't think I know my other teachers. Um, and I also don't know what building my classes are in yet. Um, I won't find out until like later this week, which is kind of like scary. And also like I just don't know the workload that goes into these classes yet or after like a couple weeks I get used to the workload and know what's going on with each class and it's easier to manage um, but the first week is always a bit stressful just because I don't know what the workload is and I'm not used to the type of content that I'm producing for those classes but also I'm a little bit stressed because I work the first two weekends of the term which like I completely agree to like that's completely on me if it makes me more stressed but I agree to those two weeks because hopefully we won't have too much homework in the first two weeks um I feel like it's usually not too bad the first week at least and so I've agreed to work those weekends I don't know if I'm gonna end up working more weekends or not um my boss has a couple more weekends open for me to work if I want to or can um, but I haven't agreed to anything past those two weekends yet because I don't know the workload for this next term and I don't even know if I like want to or if it'll be worth it because I have to drive the two hours home to work so yeah I don't know how that's gonna go hello so Haley got back from work a couple hours ago it's midnight now we've been watching Bo Branham specials and crocheting I finished my top well, I kind of finished my top. I want to remake the straps, but it looks really cute. Um, it shows a lot more like chest and collarbone and shoulders than I like usually show. So I don't know like how much I'll wear it, but I think it's really cute. Uh, now I'm working on the brown top. I'm trying to make the bottom flatter. It's going okay, 
but I still don't know how it's gonna turn out. I might end up just taking the whole thing apart and remaking it. Um, I don't know. But I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog for today. Um, I'm gonna go to bed and then I will check in tomorrow. Good night.